Pinkius Prime. I haven't really gotten accustomed to these yet, either. You and me both, Twilight. This pony doesn't stand out at all. He can't possibly be a significant character. This scene is severely lacking a certain hoofshake. The main six are shunted off to bed like little toddlers. Hasbro Studios. This PMV doesn't make use of any green screen ponies. Isn't the Equestria Girls logo lovely tonight? The portal just happens to be opening on the same day that Twilight visits the Crystal Empire. Twilight's crown just happens to look like the prize crown from an alternate dimension. Don't forget to stand there for a little bit and give the person you've just stolen from a chance to spot you. Every pony just casually went back to bed and waited until morning. Pretty much the only interesting bits of this entire story are told by a boring exposition. Even DHX knew that the words human world are taboo in Equestria. Twilight's reflection opens its eyes before even she does. The fact that Celestia said the rest of the main six couldn't enter means she knew that their human counterpart lives on the other side and that Twilight's counterpart doesn't attend this school. I wonder what else she knows that she's not letting on to. People laughed at the rumor of Spike becoming a dog. The fact that it's actually real says a lot about this movie. Those aren't hooves. Let me see your war face! At least the magical all-knowing portal was polite enough to give Twilight some clothing. You know, Spike hasn't really changed that much at all, actually. Spike's collar is spiky. High school. The building had only five windows on this wall just moments ago. This scene is a perfect example of the faulty toy design. Doors open in, which is actually against building codes for a very good reason. Everyone seems to have icons representing cutie marks. I'm willing to bet that they also have tattoos somewhere on their body. Brad. Math is so funny. Alright, so pretty much every pony from Equestria has a human counterpart in this world. As if that wasn't enough of a ridiculous coincidence, they all just happen to attend the same high school? I can speak to anyone any way I want. That statement really holds absolutely no weight. She's just a generic antagonist for the sake of being a generic antagonist. Writers, I am disappointed. Let me show you the greeting of my people. Spike has always been the button of jokes, but this movie brings about an all-time low for him. Leave it to Fluttershy to hand out flyers from this far away. Stop laughing. She later died from a concussion. So I decided to give it to Principal Celestia. I can only imagine the smell coming from that backpack. Twilight's rightful throne. Celestia was actually secretly prying into Luna's office. Looks like if I want my crown back, I'll have to become princess of the Candlelight High Fall Formal. Or, you know, you could just steal the crown. You know, that would actually make for an immensely more interesting movie. I don't care if vegetarian burgers and hot dogs exist. This is still a funny sight. What would the Eco Kids say about using that many napkins? Just... No, I can't do this. Don't let the whole shy thing fool you. She can be a real Do you have a twin sister who lives in the city? Has a pet dog named Spike that looks just like that one? Spin-off incoming. Uh, maybe? Sunset never touches the second balloon. It just committed suicide when it realized what movie it was in. Exposition via cheap monologue. Sweetie bought his cannon. This movie mocks its own antagonist by giving a cameo to a better one. Twilight didn't see snips or snails behind these giant glass doors. <laughs> it's so punny it hurts. Recycle bin? An internet explorer. Just like your mom's netbook. No, it just... No! My reaction to this movie. I just can't help but get the feeling that- Yeah, another major drive of the story based on a hunch. Don't you just hate waking up with cold feet only to find out your blanket is the wrong way? The parallax shift of the moon and stars suggests that they can't be up very high. As if Spike and Rarity shipping wasn't weird enough. This video page will only be relevant for a few months before YouTube changes again. Rarity beatboxes. The idea here is that Twilight brings them together as friends, but she really didn't do anything. They just sorted it out amongst themselves. This is not a rainbow. Default iMovie music. Pointless ex-boyfriend subplot that goes absolutely nowhere. I think Hasbro just gave DHX a description of what the toys had looked like, and they just had to roll with it. But deep down, we're all canceled on Wonder Colts! Deep down inside, they are all actually cults. This song is just too catchy for me to hate. Yes, that's a sin now. Conspiracy theory time. Twilight appears to have been rotoscoped so as to make a change to the background. Speculate away. Sing a pointless song, win everyone's votes. This subplot about Twilight being framed could have actually been really neat if it didn't appear then suddenly resolve itself within seconds. Snips and snails would have to have the exact same shape and build as Twilight for this to work at all. What opened this window? Did that happen all on its own just to change the lighting and mood of the scene? Fluttershy is about to remove a boot, but then she remembers that they're permanently affixed to her. At this point of the movie, I was content to just tell myself that this abomination had nothing to do with the ponies I know and love. Then this happened. Don't look at me! My feet are just stubs to allow for interchangeable footwear! I know Pinkie Pie is random and crazy, but this just feels like bad writing. 
They appear to comprehend the situation all too well considering how fast Pinky spoke and how absurd it must have sounded. How to trap a fool. Place a do not enter sign on the inside of a closet. I need this formal to go on tonight just as much as she does. Uh, no you don't. Your master plan has little to do with the dance. In fact, you could have done what you plan to do at any time now. All you need is the crown which you could have easily gotten your hands on. We've already seen you steal it once after all. Brad leaps over six steps at once. Chicken dance. Usually we attribute things like this to the writer simply not having enough time to properly fit everything into a 20 minute slot. This movie had over an hour to tell a story and still resorts to poor means of transition and story development. Uh, the sledgehammer would just pass through the portal like anything else, right? Equestria will find a way to survive without my element of harmony. Actually, no, it's pretty much screwed. Spike acts like he can't even open the door even though he did earlier in the movie without any problem. And then all of the kids in the theater start screaming while their parents drag them outside to get their money back. Wilhelm attends high school. Uh, the eco kids seem unaffected to me. Okay, this is just getting weird. And to think I was actually hoping for a unique villain defeat. I guess Rainbow Dash is a natural born flyer even as a human. Congratulations! You've witnessed the all new record for a villain to friend conversion. It took Luna a thousand years, Discord more than a season, but Sunset Shimmer mere seconds. That's right kids! You can jump off buildings and sprout wings so long as you do it together as friends. Let's play a game of spot the main character in the background. She's got freaking wings and her dancing is what draws the most attention? Wait until the very last second to return home, why don't you? What are hands? On the other hand, handful. Hand. 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 Lens Flyer. In Equestria, the ponies are pitted against dragons, mythical beasts, tyrannical overlords, starvation, and a slew of other fantasy and original elements. Equestria Girls has a cliched high school setting with just plain stupid coincidences that render whatever scrap of the story that once was into total horse manure. That is one big pile of shit. Seriously, how can anyone possibly ask me why I did not like this movie? So yeah, I'm counting the entire movie as one big sin. Whoa! 